Action News Jets' Brittany Donovan. She joins us live from Elton out in St. John's County, where an early morning storm left behind a lot of debris. But Brittany, what the good news is that we don't, no one has been hurt, which is good. We're hearing from the business owner here and also people who live in this area. No reports of injuries so far this morning and a lot of cleanups been underway here since that early morning storm. Now we've been coming to you live here from this business. It's FL Custom Kitchen and Bath and you're taking a look at the front of their warehouse. You see where you can see the wood paneling right now. There used to be metal siding there that was absolutely ripped off during the high winds when that storm moved through here. We saw them cleaning up, taking that metal siding and moving it away from the front of the business. So a lot of the debris here in the front area has been cleared. And we're going to take a peek through the door here. We don't want to go inside because we know they're working with some heavy equipment. But you can see holes in the roof there. You can see where the sun is coming through. They've got fiberglass hanging. That's because these storms just ripped part of the roof off. Now we're going to walk around the building, kind of show you what we're seeing as we make our way over there. El Mancy, you can show them some of the debris here on the ground. These are some stencils they use when they're fitting different countertops for families. Uh, home. So there's just things that were inside the building just thrown outside. A lot of dirt on the side of the building, too. When all of that rain and all of that wind moved through, it was just throwing dirt and water all around. And take a look at the roof. You can see some of that mangled metal. That'll be one of the biggest things they're worrying about today because with these holes in the roof, that means that any rain can just come on through and ruin all of their supplies that they have left. So you're taking a look at that metal siding. It was just kind of torn and mangled up up on the roof from these winds and we've been talking with the business owners here and they tell us they're glad that no one was hurt they're glad that there was no injuries to anyone but they are kind of surveying their supplies and they tell me that there is some significant damage to some of the tabletops they have marble granite all kinds of um, supplies that were broken blown over during the storm now we'll be talking with them about how much damage they believe came from this storm and what it's going to take for them to fix it. But they do tell me the silver lining here is all of their customers' orders for Monday morning are okay. They are able to satisfy any orders that have already been placed. But we'll be talking with them about what's next for them, and we'll have a live report for you coming up in the next 30 minutes. Reporting live this morning, Brittany Donovan, Action News Shacks.